Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'd like to show you the do's and don'ts of drawing. Um, I'm sure you've seen many of these videos before, but one thing I don't really like about them is that they don't really teach you anything. It's just that they're drawing one really good drawing and one really bad drawing, and then they just expect you to know what you're going to do. So um, I'd like to show you some little tricks um, here and there, so I think I hope I can help you with yeah, your realistic drawings. So the first drawing is going to be how to draw an apple. So this is just really basic shading technique uh, as you can see. So I'm just, um, so you just really have to blend, blend and blend. The blending is really important when you want to create a realistic drawing. So it's just, um, you have to think that when light is light is hitting an object, and the place where light is hitting the most is going to be the lightest, and the places that don't, don't really get to see the light are going to be darker. So that just makes sense, right? And here, yeah, the light source is somewhere on the top right, um, left uh, on the top right corner of the drawing, and so you can kind of think where the shadows would actually naturally be, and then just uh, naturally fading out. The shadows. Um, so here in this next drawing, um, I'd like to show you how to draw a basic eye. I've actually made a video about that before, so if you want to know more about it and if you want more detail, because this video is just going to be a really quick, to the point video, then I guess you should watch uh, the other video also. So I used to draw the eyes like it's on the left side, and I've also seen my friends do it like that. But as you can see, it doesn't look three-dimensional. It looks like it's a cartoon character or something. So what you should do instead is you should actually pay attention to the waterline and to the inner corner of the eye because that just is uh, one of the important parts in your eye. And you also should not make the crease too big and also don't forget the crease. I used to do that also. So the crease is actually a part that falls into your eye, so it's not going to be that big. It's, it's kind of small and it's usually a little dark there because it's like folded. And um, yeah, and the eyelashes, you should probably do more eyelashes than on the left side because we don't just have 10 eyelashes, do we? And yeah, uh, you should really pay attention to the lighting and the different shades um, in your eye, so it usually goes, I mean in the center the iris is black and then it gets a little di lighter and then it gets a little darker so it looks more natural. And I like to do my eyebrows kind of long and arched so it looks like a nice on fleek eyebrow from Instagram. <laughs> and yeah, so let's get to the next drawing. And now I'd like to show you how to draw the basic shape and uh, the basic female face. So on the left side you can see just a really basic um, yeah, face that everyone used to draw, or at least me and everyone I saw in my class. And it's just the iconic L nose because you don't know how to draw the nose and you're just trying to make it look like um, it's not that important, so you just do an L instead, you know? And yeah, <laughs> on the right side, um, okay, yeah, this, oh my god, this is so important, right? The eyes are actually in the middle of the face. Did you know that? Because I didn't, and I used to draw it way up, um, like where the, uh, the forehead should actually be, and it looked so off. But yeah, now you know if you didn't know before. The eyes are in the middle, so start there. And then you, yeah, I, you can continue with the eyebrows, that's how I like to do it, so it looks nice and even. And I know the struggle of drawing the other eye, but yeah, it just comes from practice. And you can always erase it and try to do it again. And then I'm just doing a small little nose, and then just some shading on it, yeah. So as always, you can go back and make some lines thicker or darker and you can always erase um, the things you don't like because this is art, you can try things out, you can erase them if you don't like them. Yeah, just, just have fun, you know. 
And here I'm just doing a small little, um, small little lips, and I'm uh, going to uh, erase the face I did before because um, it was too large, and yeah, I didn't really like it. And here, this is so important. I can't even start to say how important it is. Okay. I've seen so many people do this mistake, like, can you see on the left side, um, right um, next to the neck, there is no hair, and like, why? I mean, your hair grows on the back of your head, so why do you even forget to do it? Oh, it's so annoying. So yeah, just don't forget that. On to the next drawing, this is going to be... Um, yeah, just a little tutorial on how to draw the male face because we did the female face before. And on the left side is just yeah a face which is yeah pretty much a potato at this point. And the eyes are um, too wide apart. They are too small and yeah they yeah the, the, the spacing is too much you know. And also the shading of course there is no shading. And on the right side. Like before, the eyes are in the center of the face, because that's just how it works. And yeah, I'm starting off with small eyes because yeah, I guess that just looks more manly in my opinion. And uh, yeah, if the eyebrows are actually closer to the eyes, I feel like it just um, yeah, looks kind of um, yeah, more manly and it looks like they are kind of angry and it looks like they're strong. I don't know, it's just maybe me, but it's like my preference and that's just how I do it. And now I'm just continuing with the nose and it's just pretty much the same on a female face and just lips. And now I'm just adjusting the face because I'm not really satisfied with it because it just looked chubby in my opinion so I'm making the jaw stronger by doing harsher lines so it looks like they're more angular and it looks more um, masculine. And also just doing the hair, just quickly blending it together so it looks like he has a lot of hair. I'm not going to draw every single strand of hair. And yeah, also the neck is um, yeah, more white compared to the female's face. And also the shoulders are just um, wider. And that's it. This is just a quick tutorial on how to draw hair that looks like um, it's smooth and soft. And I, I mean, I used to struggle with this a lot when I was younger. On the left side, um, I used to do it all the time, just some basic lines and just fill it in, like, I don't care, don't give a damn. But then I realized that you have to add shades, that you have to add the um, darker parts of the hair and the lighter parts and you have to make it look like it's alive although hair is dead I mean it's pretty much um, yeah, dead cells what am I saying oh my god biology higher level I don't even know uh, <laughs> moving on I'm doing some wavy lines next to each other so I can fill them in later and um, yeah hair is not always perfect so I'm just trying to make different um, hair strands so it looks like yeah, it's a little bit more crazy, like uh, she was running or something, so it's not just boring and perfect, like, you know, because nobody's perfect, you know, and Hannah Montana taught us that, you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and as always, just adding some depth to the hair by creating light and dark um, shading, just adding some um, darker lines in between, of the different uh, waves so you can actually see that some strands are actually above the others so it looks like there is more hair on the back and it's shiny and it's soft and it's beautiful and also one thing I think that looks really beautiful is that when the left side of the face and the right side of the face so the left side of the hair and the right side of the hair is not the same so I think it looks uh, more natural when it's actually not symmetrical, if you know what I mean. So, in my drawing, on the right side, um, the waves are bigger than the left side, so it looks more natural, in my opinion.
The next little drawing is going to be how to do braids. I used to tr struggle with this so much. It took me like a year to figure out how to do it. <laughs> so when I'm telling you how to do it, it's actually from a lot of experience and struggles and pain and misery. <laughs> so the basic thing you should do is just starting off with a zigzag line and then I'm moving the other yeah, parts upwards as you saw in the video um, I'm not really good at describing it but then um, the part that is the zigzag you're going to make it um, darker and the parts that go up and um, make a cross I don't know that's that's going to be dark also and the other parts are just going to be gradually lighter and they're going to meet in the middle and it's just going to be um, a little part where it's like basic, basically white and that's just a shine so it, it's like uh, you have really shiny hair and it's just really yeah, tucked together and looks like there is one line if that makes sense and here you can see me just drawing it and uh, one thing you can actually add is just making little lines and in the different strands of hair so it looks like um, there are a lot of little um, yeah, hair strands uh, in them so it is um, real and it's not fake, you know? And so, on to the next one. I mean, it's a basic thing that people just draw are just roses. So for Valentine's Day, for example, if you're drawing a little rose for your Valentine, you should maybe try to watch this video and just see and um, yeah, learn. Just kidding. Um, okay, so on the, right, on the left side, this, the lines are really straight, they go upward and they go forward and it doesn't look natural because you have to actually think that gravity exists and on the right side the, um, the flower is going like up and yeah, the leaves tend to go downwards because of gravity, it's just physics. And you probably noticed, but I don't draw just uh, one leaf and the other leaf, but a few leaves are together. So they're combined and um, yeah, roses actually look like that. If you ever had a normal rose in your hands, they don't just have like one leaf there and another leaf there. Like they're together, they're groups, they're friends, best friends forever. So you can never, never make only one leaf, okay, okay, okay? Because then they, they start crying, just kidding. Oh my god. But um, yeah, just... Also, try to do some shading. The parts that are inside are usually dark because the light is not hitting it. And the outsides are bright and so it looks more three-dimensional and it looks more realistic and it's Gucci. And yeah, just adding the little spikes because um, life is not perfect. Even a beautiful rose has a bad side. <laughs> Philosophy of set and draws. This, these last two drawings are just some little scenery you can do behind your um, drawings if you're doing a character for example and the thing you just have to do is adding some little branches to your uh, trees so that they look more natural and it looks like the tree is bigger and older and it's more magical and last but not least I'm just drawing some scenery again so this is just a simple idea you could maybe use so instead of um, drawing things on, you can do it in reverse, so you can make some shading and then raise something off so it looks like there is something without actually drawing it. <laughs> and I hope you liked this video and if you did then please like it and leave some comments below because this video took a long time to do <laughs> and also the voiceovers are killing me. So um, just please let me know what you think and don't send hate, send some love because the world is worth enjoying and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.